Alright, so for the video we're doing today, we are just going to be uh, removing the rest of these RAM chips from this dead Xbox board that I got here. So, um, as you can see, those two have been removed. Well, one. So, um, yeah, no RAM chips on top and we just have that one left and uh, this one left so pretty pretty straightforward video we're gonna be using a uh, rework machine for this obviously to lift the chips rather than taking a soldering iron and uh, a braid and trying to get it all off of there um, so yeah tools obviously you're gonna need uh, a rework station with you know, air wand or IR whichever one next you're gonna need a uh, vacuum pen and I'm also gonna be using just this little pick here to nudge the chip kinda make sure that it's uh, ready to pull and another thing flux I'm using Kingbo flux which is my favorite by far. And I'm just going to dab it all over because it cleans right off the chip afterwards. Don't want to get the camera too close. Alrighty, so. off the top there and we'll turn up the heat a bit Adjust it here a little. Switch hands here. And you generally won't get the whole thing in one pull. So try and go for halves. And try not to drop it like I just did, but it's not a big deal. Alrighty, so let me just kind of move that out of the way. And we will go ahead and switch.
switch hands again. Oop, missed it. <laughs> oh, that one came right up. that up out of the way. Ooh, that is really warm. Who would have thought? And so here we have <laughs> the flux is making it stick there. Here we have both of our RAM chips, and it looks like so no solder bridged on that side. Might have one leg we gotta clean up there. Nothing there. Oh, two there. Alright, so it looks like we only have two legs to clean up on these. So, yeah. Removing the original Xbox RAM chips. Turned out pretty good. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Uh, do another one once we are uh, installing them.